Hey fellow motorized bike builders. Today what we're gonna do is we're gonna ship out the Switz Cruise bike. Boom. To our winner. And the cool thing is, is I thought I get questions every once in a while in the Facebook group. Hey, how do we ship out a bicycle that we built? Well, I'm gonna go through the whole process and really it's just gonna be the same as when we got the bike. So what was off of it was the pedals, then the handlebars were off of it the front tire over there and then also since we've added this fuel tank we're going to clean it out get all the fuel out of it and take it off and package it separately other than that the whole bike is going to stay together sound like a good deal let's roll so let's go outside and drain the fuel tank All right, now we're back inside. So what we'll do is we're going to take it off of the seat post. The filter here. So the filter here is all gross and full of gas and everything. I'm not gonna send that. I'll let the, the fuel lines air out and then I'll give a brand new fuel, fuel filter for them. So that'll be nice. So I just want the least amount of gas and you saw outside that I uh, drained the carburetor. So I'm letting it air out and dry out. Uh, same thing, just get all the fuel out of it that they, that way there's no smells, you know, in transit. What I want to do is I want to dry it out as much as possible. So what I have is my shop vac and I put it on the blow outside, right? You don't want it sucking in because there's fumes in there that you don't want to cause a spark and then have a fireworks show, right? Our goal is to get those fumes out of that fuel tank so that it's safe to ship out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that shop vac and let it run, 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 push all those fumes out. You know, once we're satisfied, then I'll put everything back on it and pack it up and it'll be good to go. What we'll do is grab this hose, turn it on, and we're gonna blow out from there. To a little bitty hole right there, get all those fumes out. So we'll let that just push all of those fumes out of there outside. And then that way the tank won't have any fuel in it at all. It'll really dry it out. And you should barely even be able to smell gas. Just, you know, a little bit maybe, but we'll cap it and everything and it should be good. But there won't be any dangerous fumes in it. The whole point is to get those fumes out of there. So in the meantime, we'll take off the pedals, the handlebars, and we'll figure out what to do with all these cables uh, in the front wheel. And yeah, stuff it in a box.
whole reason to plastic bag the engine is so that I can wrap these in plastic and then have something to tape to. When you tape things on like this, do the sticky side out of the tape. See how it doesn't stick? And then there won't be any sticky residue. And then I did once over with the sticky side down so it's not sticky anywhere you touch and then you can just snip it off. So you remember our fuel tank, we took the shot back and we blew air through it in here and it came out here. And all I smell is paint. I don't really smell any gas or anything. So that's a good trick. So that's really the gist of it is uh, everything in boxes that you can put in a box and then shove in and around it make sure things don't move there you go seal the top hey everyone tony from bike Bear here it's good to see you today is the day that i get the final ride on the switch cruise bike i have to break it in and make sure everything's tight and he doesn't have any trouble with bolts loosening or anything like that so i'm giving it the final ride the final once over by the time you see this video it's already well on its way to mr kaler i'm excited this is just going to be a little bit of a ride through the country let's roll